You left your doctor's office with a prescription, went to the pharmacy and had it filled. You took the medication as prescribed and you ended up getting sicker. You finally went to the ER and the doctor told you that you were given the wrong prescription by the pharmacy. Hang on a moment and I'll explain the three ways that we see pharmacy malpractice in our office. Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino, a Northwest Indiana personal injury lawyer. Years ago, your pharmacy was locally owned. You knew the pharmacist, he or she knew you. There were even times when the pharmacist would drop by your house to drop off a prescription because you were snowed in or because you were ill. This is not the case any longer. Retail pharmacy is big business. Pharmacies like Walgreens, CVS, and Walmart fill hundreds, if not thousands of prescriptions each day. Most of the prescriptions are filled by pharmacy techs, not the pharmacists. In the last year, I've had three pharmacy mistake cases that I accepted. The three most common pharmacy malpractice claims that I see are these. Number one, dosing errors, given the wrong strength of the medication. Number two, incorrect labeling, given the wrong instructions to the customer. Number three, dispensing the wrong drug. If you think that you've been injured by pharmacy malpractice, click the link that will bring you to the next video in this series, which explains the three pieces of evidence that you must have in order to prove your claim. If you have any questions about a Northwest Indiana pharmacy malpractice claim, you can always give me a call. I am Guy DiMartino, meeting you at the intersection of law and medicine. Have a nice day.